Young Gigi vs Toyo Toro. Now before I start this video, I think that both artists are excellent at what they do and this is going to be more of my opinion on the two of them. So feel free to share what, who you like in the comments and I hope this doesn't turn into a war at all because I respect both guys and they are both great artists. So let's break it down with the art styles. Now one thing I particularly like about Young Gigi is his art style. For example, he has a really sharp look to the jaw as well as giving his characters a pointy nose which is a prominent feature throughout Toriyama's work from basically the Saiyan arc onwards. His line work also in some of his manga represents Toriyama's Buu Saga style perfectly, with a very sharp and angular look. Additionally, the way young Gigi draws hair is very sharp and rough, and replicates the way Toriyama drew hair, especially onward from around the Android and Buu arc. On a side note though, his more recent work in regards to some features such as the jaw, nose and hair have become less pointy and more rounded off. And if that wasn't enough, even his art style of colouring is identical to that of Toriyama's illustrations with a lot of white highlights drawn very sharply. His shading is also exactly like Toriyama's colouring in the dark areas in black and drawing additional pen strokes protruding from these shaded areas. Additionally, he also includes small limited lines of shading across the body of his characters, much like Toriyama. One slight like difference so is the ears, and I know this, that this may be a weird feature, but it is one way to often identify an artist or animator. And with young Gigi, the base around the earlobe is near identical to the way Toriyama draws ears. However, it can slightly vary with Toriyama's work of course, but overall it is very similar. However, the main difference is the tip of the ear which seems to have a flat surface where Toriyama's usually rounds off. And interestingly enough, it seems to be a stylistic choice seen in promotional art of the Z anime, so it's possible he picked it up from those artists. Again, keep in mind, the style he goes for from my observation is more Android Boo Saga. Earlier works such as the Saiyan Saga still had somewhat round designs. Manga-wise, it appears he draws it traditionally rather than digitally, although some of his illustrations seem to be coloured and drawn digitally. But by taking a traditional approach with the manga. Overall this helps in further making it look more like Toriyama's old work, of course, which was done traditionally. Heck, he even goes as far as to draw rocks the same as Toriyama, which I can't help but commend to his attention to detail. It's amazing how much he can replicate Toriyama's style. Now with the Dragon Ball manga, Toriyama usually had heavy line work with his speed lines and young Gigi makes no exception in including this aspect, which really brings more intensity to a fight. His panels are also excellent and live up to Toriyama's standards by not over cluttering the page making it much easier to grasp everything. He definitely takes on the principle of less is more. Now with Toyo Taro, the thing I like about him is he seems to capture the more light-hearted side of Dragon Ball, drawing many illustrations with cars and other contraptions much like Toriyama. And he also draws a lot of characters from early Dragon Ball, not just Z which is another thing I really like, as many of these characters seem to be forgotten by fans, and so it's cool to see some drawings and new artwork of them. Now style-wise, Toyo Taro seems to replicate more modern Toriyama style, like from the early 2000s onward. I don't know if you can actually call that modern, but whatever. Anyway, for example, his line work isn't as sharp overall as Toriyama's older work, as you can especially see here with this picture of trunks, like the hair for example, as well as the chest and arms. However, he does draw ears very similar to Toriyama, like both Toriyama's older style from like around the Freezer Saga onward and into his newer work, which is one small feature that hasn't changed too much over in over time, except for getting smaller. And with this picture of Goku Black, you can definitely see how well he replicates Toriyama's current take on Dragon Ball, like how his jaw is slightly indented and how his nose is slightly pointy, much different to how Toriyama used to draw where he made his designs fairly sharp and angular, and this only increased as the series went on, but now Toriyama seems to be taking a different approach. However, surprisingly in front on poses in regard to just the face, he really captures that boot arc look with Goku and Vegeta, but besides a front on look of the face, that's the extent he captures Toriyama's older style. As I said before, his line work is much more rounded than Toriyama's older work in every aspect, especially the muscles. He draws and colours the majority of his work digitally, which doesn't make it look as close to Toriyama's old work, but does however look just like his new work, which is also drawn digitally. Also, minor detail, he does also include shading on the chin, but it isn't intense as Toriyama, which is one easy feature to notice his work. 
Also, interestingly enough, some of Toru Taro's old work from Dragon Ball AF, AF, whatever you want to call it, however, is much sharper and like Young Gigi, replicates Toriyama's Android Boo Saga arc style seen in the manga, such as the hair, muscles, jaw. This also goes for other features such as the clothing, the pants, and shoes, especially. But as Dragon Ball AF continues, his style begins to change and everything in his designs becomes more rounded and throughout the work he did for Dragon Ball Heroes, his style and the change it's gone through can be seen especially at this point. But within some of his recent chapters of DBS, his drawing style seems to be undergoing some slight changes again, with this time becoming more angular again. You can especially see with how he draws Goku's hair here, how sharp it is and as well as his arms and chest and also giving Goku more of a pointy nose. Although not all of his newer artwork is drawn exactly like this, these changes are subtle throughout his newer work, and you can notice how his line work is becoming gradually sharper and how it is starting to gradually look more like Toriyama's older work. Colouring wise, he does a decent amount of his illustrations with more of a blend rather than cell shading, a stylistic approach often see with many of Toriyama's newer illustrations since he switched to digital. Although Toyotaro does still do cell shading in his illustrations, as well as likewise the same with Toriyama, he doesn't utilize highlights however hardly near to the extent Toriyama used to, but once again this is something that Toriyama doesn't hardly do anymore, so again it does truly seem like Toyotaro is trying to replicate more modern Toriyama, and he does a very good job at it. In regards to shading, he is very accurate in replicating Toriyama's style with the reflection on surfaces like Freeze's head, and he also has small lines here and there for shading, but also detail, much like Young Gigi. Manga. Manga wise, unlike Toriyama and Young Gigi, Toyotaro's work can get rather cluttered with often a few too many panels. However, the Dragon Ball Super manga is still fairly easy to read from my perspective, so I don't see it as a major problem, but he could definitely let it lessen it up on the dialogue and reactions. Although if you look at his earlier manga, Dragon Ball AF, his work isn't as cluttered and is not only more easy to read, but also uses less reactions and dialogue. With fight sequences, he does make fairly good use of speed lines, which are slightly less thick than Toriyama's. However, some of his scenes lack the intensity that Toriyama managed to portray in his work. For example, with this picture here, he draws the aura with a thick outline of black and also has more intense line work in the background. Additionally, he includes a heap of lines across his armor and face, adding more ferocity to this attack. Again, not all of his action scenes lack the intensity that Toriyama portrayed in his work, but a good amount still do. However, Toriyama really steps it up in some of his later chapters with the Tournament Power. Scenes like this convey so much speed and ferocity with the heavier speed lines and the addition of extra lines on the characters that it really improves his work dramatically. So thanks everyone as always for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this comparison of these two artists and how well they replicate Toriyama's style. And let me know in the comments who you find the best out of these two and the reasons why. Now this video did take a long time to um, make compared to what I originally thought it would. So please show us some love and I'll see you in the next video.